All right, guys, back at Lilybrook after my holiday. How can you tell I'm off holiday? The sun's out at last. Didn't get a play viewed because the weather just closed in. It was so windy and it was pointless trying to go out. I, I suppose I could, but I was always worried about the gear blowing over. I want to talk about something different today, something I've been thinking about for a while, and that is strokes gained. Now, I know the pros use it, and I know that there have been articles written suggesting ways that we handicapped golfers can use it. I'm not so certain. I'm more of a strokes lost sort of guy, and that's my philosophy, is to go out, have a practice round, see where I'm dropping shots, and see if it's something I can improve upon. After all, oh, here comes another buggy. Right. I mean, what I mean by improve upon is something that I'm physically capable of doing. Yeah, sorry about that. So, yeah, if there is a 470 yard par four I can't reach in two, there is nothing that I can do about it. I am not physically capable of improving on that hole. So it's about looking at where you drop shots and where you can realistically improve. So let's go have a few holes, 18 I hope, before it gets dark, and see if I can identify areas where I can improve. See you on the first tee. Well, I've warmed up in the net, which essentially means I've stretched a few muscles, but I have no idea where the ball is going to go. And if there's one thing I hate, is walking onto a first tee and having no idea where the ball is going to go. I mean, where do you aim if you don't know what shape you've got today? But I've given myself the first Strokes lost opportunity. One thing you learn at Lillybrook is how to play the get out of jail free card. The first five holes are really tough. Oh, that's an inch short. So you get used to playing recovery shots all the time. I've got a two ball in front of me They've just gone to the side of the fairway behind the trees and waved me through. So there's no putting on this one. But I bang this into the heart of the green, two putts, and then onto the third. Oh yeah, don't get many of those. Well that drive is a pop-up. Still coming down steep on the ball, so this hasn't gone very far. I really should be hitting a 9-9 nine -nine here, not a 6. And it's an awkward slope. I don't know what I've done there, but I've leaked it right. And it's a little shy. This lie isn't good enough to do anything with. Ten feet past the hole is about the best thing I can do. So that's what I focus on sometimes, is getting past the hole so I don't get caught up in the rough trying to get to the hole. And I've done exactly that. Shame about the putt. That's the stroke lost. 
Right, the fifth. I always try and draw it here, but this time I am aiming down the left, tight to the tree. I'm gonna try and straight one. Bugger me, that one's huge. 122. I don't think I've been this close before. 's a bit lazy and that's on the right edge of the green and yeah it would seem that I found an issue with the camera looking into the Sun Very, very yeah, happy. <laughs> One of my best three was for a while down the left hand side. And that's that same skanky type shot I hit on the sixth. I am good. Yeah, it's a bit late now, mate. 30 yards, back left flag. This needs a bit of a thump. And that's just past halfway. So we're definitely dropping strokes here, but what are you going to blame? Are you going to blame the skanky eight iron or the horrid chip? Certainly not going to blame the putt. It had a chance. But this is another stroke lost. Number seven. Now I always go for the heart of this green, but this time around, for whatever reason, I think I'm going to fade me five iron to a back right flag. So that is definitely a mental error. I've stuck it in the bunker. So it's a mechanical error, but I think the mental error is where I'm dropping the stroke. Bunker shot, pretty tidy. Unfortunately, it's a downhiller, so I can't hit this with any authority. Yeah, I'm going to call that a mental error. Mental error on the tee box, that's where I've dropped my stroke. Can anyone tell me why I don't do that on every tee box? Must be something about this hole.
Right, the tenth. I seem to be taking it in turns to miss this a little bit left or a little bit right. And today it's right. And if I wasn't on the yellows, I would be in trouble. But I've gone past the tree, so I've got a clear shot at this green. Grass has shut the face. Mm, that's a bit dodgy. So another potential for a strokes lost. Fortunately, I can chip and butt a little bit. If there's ever a hole that has the potential for a strokes lost, this is it. No matter how good your drive is, you're going to be left with this. On upslope with a long club in your hand. And it's so hard to get through the shot properly. So I don't worry about a five too much here on this on this par four. It's going to happen and there is nothing I can do about it. Oh, good grief, Simon. Make the game hard, why don't you? Just to show you how a hole can get in your head. This is the fifth time on the trot that I've hit that shot. Flared it out to the right. Fortunately today in the competition, I hit the perfect draw, the perfect 60, 60 yard sand wedge and the perfect putt for a bird. And this is where I find out the limitations on the camera battery. <laughs> I did make a par though. Right then, this strokes lost business. What's it all about really? It's, it's trying to identify the bad shot in the hole. Or is it two bad shots in a hole? Take the fourth for instance. It was a weak putt from a nine footer for par. I don't think I could have chipped better. The six iron from off the strange down slope, side slope, that was weak. But was the cause the pop up with the driver that required me to hit a six iron in the first place instead of my usual eight or nine iron into the green? So which one of those cost me the bogey? That's a, a matter for debate, I guess. Personally, I think it was the popped up drive that put me under pressure with the six sign off a strange slope. So I'm going to pick the drive there. But on the other hand, on the sixth hole, where I'm on the strange slope again, I hit another bad shot. So perhaps that is what I need to practice. But it's also obvious that I'm coming over the top, I'm coming down steep into the ball. So I need to fix that. So perhaps if I fix that, it fixes all the bad shots. And I know two drills for fixing that, so I can get out there on the range and go fix it, hopefully. 
Now, there are some strokes lost that you just can't avoid losing. Take the 12th there. You can hit a nice drive, but you're left with round about 180 yards, often up slope like that with either your three iron or your five wood. That's beyond my physical mechanics, mechanical ability. I can do it every now and then, but a lot of the time I can't get through the shot and I'm, you know, finishing up like that and I'm hitting it right, I'm hitting it left. So I don't worry about a bogey there because I know that the demands of the hole are beyond my ability to play it. Right, north wind. Probably going to take a three wood over the top here today. Let's carry on and hopefully I can finish this round of golf off. It's a big one, because it helps being off the yellows. Well, I've never been this close before, so I wasn't too sure what to take up this hill. In fact, today in the competition off the white tees, I hit 15 yards past this and I still didn't know what to take. I certainly had the wrong club there, but I know this putt, so therefore I know this chip. New shoes are rubbing a bit now. Gonna have a bliss. Yeah, gonna have a blister by the time I get home. I think someone's taking a piss here, don't you think? Oh boy, you've got to laugh, haven't you?
yes, yes, yes. Right, almost done. That was a get out of jail free card, wasn't it? Now, I expressed my opinion in these kind of videos and they're based on my experience in golf, really, and my golf course. And they're not, exp they're not based on your experiences in golf. So your opinions are different to mine, which is how it should be. You know, just because I'm the guy holding the camera, it doesn't make me right. But I hope it makes you think a bit, you know, if you're looking to improve your golf, I hope, uh, I hope that you do. I hope some of this is useful. Right, last hole to go. Now I came back from holiday and uh, had a session on the range just to uh, go, I'm rushing, <laughs> getting old. Yeah, I had a session on the range just to see if I could tighten up, tighten a few screws. Played Saturday, shot two over my handicap. Really, really happy with that. Played yesterday, Sunday, shot five or six over my handicap. I forget, it was either 10 or 11 over. And I wasn't particularly happy with that. So tonight has been a surprise and very, very welcome. You see, it's the bad days that make the good days really good. And this is why I play golf, for the good days. All right, the bad days get me down, but then that makes you come back and try harder. Cheerio. Our group came off 12 onto the ladies' tee, that's what happened here. Do you want to go down rather than wait? 